and right, I'm working on a 1992 Mercury 150 horsepower outboard two-stroke motor just wanted to show you the water passages in case you were wondering how the water flows through a two-stroke outboard motor this is where the poppet valve enters it also goes through a little hole here and back through here to go into the exhaust chamber and out the exhaust cooling the exhaust this is the upper plate most of the water goes through here hits right here flows this way around this into here also And I will have more to this video when I put this back together and get ready for the power head to be reinstalled. This is Haney's outboards. All right, I got the surfaces cleaned, new gasket on. It's very tight in the middle here. It's almost gonna have to push silk down when it seats. Both sides are cleaned off really as good as I can get them. Got the bolts ready to put in. Start putting it together. like when it's put down looks pretty good starting getting the bolts ready I think the smallest one went here I did put some grease on the end of these marine grease case I need to take this apart again but really don't plan on that all right this is the one that was really just caked and I cleaned it really well so you can see kind of how bad it was in there clean that out it was completely packed full of salt, so that could have been part of my overheating issue. Screw it in there as far as I can. I'll use the ratchet. It's a smaller one. So this is my 1992 uh, Mercury 150 two-stroke power head. I've been working on it because of some overheating issues. I just wanted to show you the passageways through this motor. This is the main passage chamber. And that goes all the way to the very top of the heads. Can't really see it, but goes all the way up there. This is the main water chamber, which has serials to the exhaust. And then it has a, another opening on this side, which goes straight to the poppet or pressure relief valve, which relieves pressure through the exhaust. But all this was pretty clogged up with uh, all these little holes clogged up with salt debris and this is the exit for the head cooling water right in there that had lots of debris in there on both sides the other sides over here next to the poppet valve
yeah, I just wanted to show you the uh, internal movement of water through this motor because I haven't seen many videos that actually have video on this kind of stuff. <clears throat> this is the uh, bottom plate that it rests on, which I'm going to install it next. So I already put a new gasket and the plate on. The main water comes in right here, hits this, goes through the grommet through here, and it passes underneath this bolt. There's another chamber that goes into this other chamber here, which I believe goes to the cool exhaust. Correct me if I'm wrong, but all this in here was full of debris. This bolt was almost broken, taken out, so. Just tells you what salt water will do to your motor. I will continue with another video when I'm reinstalling this power head. I don't want to mess up that gasket. So, get a hold of it kind of like that and kind of line it up to the holes the best you can. Internal? And stuff? Yeah. Second one back there. That's going to be my second one. Damn it, don't fuck up the gasket. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Alright. Alright, again, it's going to go in that second hole, not that first one. First one is just for this little dimple on this other side. Let's go in. Yeah. This one's starting to go in. That one going in? Mm -hmm. Stop right there for a second because I see oil. I'm not supposed to be on this gasket. Looking for them, man. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I hope that seals good. We got the power head back on. Uh, the main part that was very difficult was these first two bolts here. You have to 
hold the power head up a little to be able to get the nut even onto the, the bolts that stick through. Just wanted to make a note of that. And then I'll put on the rest of the nuts and washers. And then I'll diagnose it further. So another thing I had to point out, uh, these bolts are extremely difficult to work on here. I had to actually re-thread by going up and down each bolt multiple times because of rust and corrosion to make it so they could actually thread on again or else I wouldn't be having any luck right now. But yeah, they are very difficult and it's a saltwater motor. Just wanted to mention that. I don't want to forget anything when I'm working on this stuff, so. 